So yeah, the uh, title of this class is Current Issues in Leadership and Change. We will not discuss uh, traditional theories of leadership. I believe you already discussed them in your organizational behavior class, in your management class. And so it's not the, um, it's not the topics we are going to cover. We are going to cover something else. So, in summary, leading in always changing environment is number one issue for this class. And leading fast growing organization is number two issue of this class. This class will be focused on five actually topics. The first to topic in managing growth. I hope your organization are not in uh, depression and it's not stalled. It's just growing, growing, growing if you are in this class. And how to manage this growth, how to make this growth sustainable, it will be first lecture video class in this in this class and I recommend you to start from this particular topic and in this topic we will talk about first how to choose how to understand the um, the um, pace of your growth second how to protect your company from kind of decreasing of these growth and to understand the price of unmanageable growth. And then we will discuss several strategies of growth for your organization. And this is about the first class. Second class will show you, second lecture will show you how to manage organizations which are growing so fast. Uh, because traditional approaches don't work anymore. And actually, this second class works very well if your organization doesn't work, but you want this to become growing. So if you see that your employees are kind of a little bit relaxed and the growth of your organization is kind of not so active, the second class is what uh, helps you to um, establish right goals and find right approaches to management for this organization. And second class is the most, um, I believe, controversial for you and actually for me. I, I was enjoying so much preparing the second class because it's about how to learn from nature, how to learn from nature. And we have kind of two approaches in uh, management. One is kind of more engineering approach, more Newton, Newtonian approach. And the second one is more kind of evolutionary approach when we don't have such a structured approach, but we more kind of learning from nature. That's why um, kind of people with kind of Western attitudes, Western mentality are more comfortable usually with um, this structured approach and me too. And I admire um, people, native people, Asian people who have such a rich history of observing the, his, uh, the uh, nature and learning from nature that they can easily accept this new approach. And what we, what we can see now, everything what people do is broken um, sooner or later. Everything what nature does somehow works, somehow, if people don't destroy this, of course. So maybe we should learn from the nature how to build self-renewing and self-managing uh, organizations. This is about the second class. The third topic in our class in leadership in a disruptive time. This is more um, how-to class. It's kind of uh, continuing after from the second, but if the second is about more philosophical approach, the third one is how-to. It's more pragmatic. And we will talk about new approach and planning, new approach in uh, structure and organizing, uh, leading, controlling, and um, and uh, we will uh, see new types of organizational structure, new types of uh, planning, and uh, 
we will define new type of leadership in this thought class. And you see each of these class kind of follow from each other, but each of them is more or less independent. Number four topic in our class, it's knowledge management or manage, managing talents. As I started at the beginning, talents, people who can bring something different, who can change environment around them are in huge demand now. Not mediocre people, talents. And um, if you don't feel yourself as a talent, it's kind of scary. But the idea is that all of us are talented people. If first of all, if we define our talent as good, we find our own niche where we're really good. And uh, um, if we present ourselves, if we build a right brand for ourselves, it's kind of about us. If you are a manager, it's even more complicated because managing talents are much more difficult than managing uh, people who care only about their retirement plan and about their kind of tell me what to do and I will do this. It's easy to manage these people because they're predictable. They waiting for your uh, direction, they doing what you tell them to do. They are very much serious about their paychecks and they don't ask about race so often and they know that their retirement is coming. It's easy for you to be a manager of them. But if you have talents, who understands that they are talent, how to manage them? Second issue in this uh, knowledge management, how to establish knowledge inside of your company. Because you don't want to be dependent on this or that talent. If they leave, because usually they are not very much loyal, if they leave your company, how to uh, be sure that knowledge, competences stay inside of your organization. This is number four. And number five, it's some kind of relief for all of us because this is the only uh, kind of island of stability in this unstable world. And this is leading through social capital when we just see that, oh, yes, at least something what I can build, what is under my control and what can establish more or less comfortable and more or less predictable environment around my organization and around my team, maybe, and around my department. So you see, these are five topics of our class, and actually all our class about these five topics, and they, they are related with each other. At the same time, they are more or less independent, and all of them, they kind of... Um, like solar system, they are kind of satellite planets around the big sun, and this sun is, is uh, always changing environment.